Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. One Piece. Celestial Dragons. I was overheard by I am when I was lying flat. Chapter 61. Off Batarira Island. A huge golden Buddha. He roared violently at an old man with half-white hair. It slammed it out of the island. Garp. You know what you did. Do you know how wrong you are about to make? Garp. This huge golden Buddha is Marine Admiral Sengoku. And the half-gray-haired old man who was knocked away from the island by it was the marine hero Garp. If it wasn't for that Saint Terry who misses you for your hard work. You are completely dead for what happened before. Do you understand? Sengoku fiercely used armament hockey's entangled fist to assist with shock waves. Hitting Garp in the head. Let his head thump thump, bang back and forth on the ground. Garp did not resist in any way. Simply beaten by Sengoku. But even so, his head was stabbed hard in the pothole. He still kept his mouth shut. Sengoku, that kid is innocent. Rouge is innocent too. Sengoku was annoyed by this, and even shouted at Garp. Do you know how many innocent children and women you will kill by mistake by the world government by concealing this matter? Do you know? Do you know how many small towns around the world have been slaughtered by pirates since Roger's public announcement yesterday? Aren't the lives of those innocent people not their lives? Garp. You really got carried away by what Roger said. Do you only know the small things and forget the big ones? Garp. So many innocent people in the world are what we need to save. It's not a pity for Ben to die in Roger's place. Sengoku burst out in anger. Toward my old friend. He beat again and again to vent his anger of, hate iron is not steel. But after a few punches like this. Sengoku's fist still softened. He muttered very seriously. Quote dot dot dot. Garp, I don't want what I'm going to do immediately after I've been promoted to Marshal Marine is to execute you, put you in jail. I will feel guilty for the rest of my life. Garp heard this. Grinned sullenly. It's like my heart is blocked. Totally speechless. The hard-mouthed words I just thought of. Can't go on talking. If it wasn't for His Royal Highness St. Terry who told me about the situation and gave you face, I would rewrite this incident as your meritorious service. Garp. What kind of treatment will you get? I don't need to say more. Garp's stubborn head. Yielded. Quote dot dot dot. You wait and say thank you to His Royal Highness St. Terry privately. I'm going to say thank you to Celestial Dragons. I'll take you with me. Sengoku said firmly. So that you don't have a criminal record, and also so that your son Long doesn't have a criminal record. Your son is so heroic in Marine, don't you want him to go further? Garp. The most emotional Garp. Hear this sentence. He also gave up resistance completely. Sengoku understands Garp too well. I understand where Garp's weakness lies. That is family affection and comrade in arms friendship. Next to. Follow Kuzan who is watching. Also relieved. As long as Sengoku Admiral can convince Garp Vice Admiral. Just let Garp Vice Admiral succumb. Afraid that Garp Vice Admiral is as tough as ever. That was really sad. Quote dot dot dot. It didn't make a big mistake, did it? Sakazuki. Humph. Sakazuki snorted coldly. Didn't say much. In his opinion. Making big mistakes like Garp Vice Admiral is not what soldiers should do at all. Let go of One Piece's wife and son. Then who will let go of the families of ordinary people who have been harmed by One Piece? Well, in general, it is fortunate that His Royal Highness St. Terry discovered the situation early and directly told the situation, and the crisis was really resolved. Pulsolino shrugged, and he had an indifferent attitude towards these. I don't want to fight a living legend, that's horrible too. Kuzan nods his head dully at this, too. Of course he didn't want to play Garp either. But in the case of just now. As far as Kuzan's heart is concerned. He also has a reason to fight. Garp Vice Admiral anyway as far as Roger's son is concerned. Really made a big mistake. Sister over there, did your CPO find out about this? Kuzan praised a little and stood aside. Also watching the situation. Always waiting for Stussy on Garp Vice Admiral. Stussy glanced at the three marine elites who were reunited there. The three admirals of the future marine who had been appointed by default. Stussy still gives some face. Shake your head. Not. For more information. Marine still doesn't deserve to know. Even if the elite over there is the marine three admiral who was predetermined in the future. They still don't deserve it. What's more, Stussy didn't know anything about it. 
after she received direct orders from Lord I am and the five elders. When Saint Terry was solely responsible for the bloodline left by One Piece. Saint Terry has already revealed the name of Gordy Rogers' wife here. Although His Royal Highness Saint Terry did not know where the woman was. But for Stussy. Still quite a shock. She never thought. Because she never thought. The five elders would be so humbled in the presence of His Highness Saint Terry. Speak very politely. Everything is said with Saint Terry. For fear of making Saint Terry unhappy. Same. Never thought that St. Terry's accurate cognition could be accurate to such a field. Quote dot dot dot. Really, he's too charming like that. How else does it allow me to go out on field assignments? Stussy looked enviously at Guillaume in the distance. Well that little girl. Just been with His Royal Highness St. Terry. He was given a thunder fruit by His Royal Highness St. Terry. And what about her? She has nothing. Nor do I know His Royal Highness St. Terry. Can there be a small part of her place in my heart? Hearing Stussy's answer. The predetermined future Marine Three Admirals. One by one's face changed slightly. Quote dot dot dot. Saint Terry really has the ability to see. Kuzan is a little unbelievable. Scratched his head. That's a good thing for Marine. The iron and blood of His Royal Highness Saint Terry is a good thing for the stability of the world and the sea. Sakazuki still appreciates the style of His Royal Highness Saint Terry. For pirates. Can't make any sense. Destroy directly. For example, the Ant Buster call this time. Really makes Sakazuki cool. Why listen to pirates talk about conditions? Pirates take hostages. Directly connect the pirates to the hostages and destroy them together. Quote dot dot dot. I heard here that His Royal Highness Saint Terry has recently raised a little mermaid who can predict the future. It seems to be called Shiarli. That little mermaid was beloved by celestial dragons on Mariajoy. I heard that a lot of celestial dragons still wanted to ask His Highness Saint Terry to buy it at a high price. Some of the bids were as high as 18 billion bailey, but His Highness Saint Terry refused. Pulsolino here for the Holy Land anecdote. It's still a well-rounded road. After all, his supporters. The backstage and colleagues behind. Both work on Mariajoy. He also listened a lot. Naturally no. The Little Mermaid who predicts the future. Is that what His Royal Highness Saint Terry relies on? That's quite. Kuzan just wanted to compliment the Little Mermaid and the good luck of Saint Terry. As a result, Pelusolino made another sharp turn and gasped. No. Before that mermaid, His Royal Highness Saint Terry seems to have some ability to predict the future, there are such rumors on Mariajoy. Kuzan and Sakazuki face twitching. In this case. Pulsolino, why didn't you just mention the abilities of His Royal Highness Saint Terry? Don't take a long detour. Talk about a mermaid. Porosolino saw the dissatisfaction of his colleagues. He waved his hands shyly and laughed. Didn't I see that everyone's atmosphere is too heavy? Just kidding. After all, there are rumors about His Highness Saint Terry's abilities. I heard that His Royal Highness Saint Terry can manipulate the souls of others, restrain the souls of others, and all the perceptions of others to the outside world. Pelusolino said and said. Suddenly such a terrible rumor was spoken. You're, a joke too, aren't you? Pulsolino. Kuzan talks a lot. I felt a chill in my heart. Do not know. Pulsolino made everyone gasp for breath again. Well, don't joke about Pulsolino, this kind of thing should be fake. Where did it come from such a terrible ability, devil fruit can't do it. Kuzan laughed warmly with laughter. Sakazuki, on the other hand, does nothing with his arms around his chest. Pulsolino shook his shoulders. Only Stussy's face changed greatly. She seemed to think of something. Muttered to himself. Well, Zhao, looks, it's very likely to be true, that all makes sense. Several people present are the elite of marine elite. Hearing an observation are so good. Stussy's words are so subtle. The slight movement of her lips. And a slightly silent sound. The expressions of the three present who had guessed his words changed slightly. Is this still true? And Saint Terry, who terrified the future Marine Three Admiral. At this moment. Instead, he lifted a stool and sat down facing Rouge. First time, Mrs. Rouge. My name is Rosewall. Saint Terry, you may call me Terry. Rouge's expression did not change. Just nod at Saint Terry. Can I talk to you, Mrs. Rouge? Compared to Terry's words. 
Rouge was more direct here, asking Terry. Will Garp Vice Admiral be okay? As soon as this sentence comes out. Let Terry nod lightly. Of course, he is the marine hero who deeply captured One Piece and his family after all. That's good. Garp Vice Admiral is a good guy. Roger shouldn't have gotten him. I'm not going to get him. Rouge is quite confident about his acting skills that he just fooled Garp. So, your highness Saint Terry, what exactly do I have to pay to keep my child? Quote dot dot dot. Your soul. Rouge she understands very well. In front of this celestial dragons. Those little actions of my own have nothing to hide. The things she just thought of. Is it useful? Useless. The man in front of you. Not at all those agents who can fool around casually. Rather, it is an existence that stands at the apex of this world. Whether it is his wisdom, or his strength, or his appearance. If you have to use one reason to hate the man in front of you. That is the man in front of him. He was born among the world nobles of celestial dragons. Everyone in this world fears, everyone hates, and everyone has to please the nobles of the world. So, Rouge she chose to talk directly. Rather than harassing Garp Vice Admiral. Tired him. Rouge, she might as well take it all on herself. As a mother. Bear it all. After all. The Saint Terry in front of him took the lives of their mother and son without coming up. Isn't it? Can. After Saint Terry said the price. Rouge was silent. My soul. 437. Yes, you will definitely die, where you will die. But your soul will be imprisoned in me, unable to enter the Yellow Spring, and unable to enter the reincarnation. Likewise, I will resurrect you regularly, so that you can have a whole month with your son every month. Let the time you spend together every day, let you make the best of the friendship between mother and son. Of course Terry knew about the troubles of the D family. So I didn't think about raising any white-eyed wolves from the beginning. Directly holding his mother's soul is a threat in the future. Presumably is a dutiful son ace. Certainly will not resist. As for why there is a full day of time every month. That's of course because of the short days we spend together each month. Will you urge Ace to work for him even more? That feeling would urge him to act madly for himself. One day a month. I think about getting along for two days a month. Two days a month. Think about getting along for three days a month. Until Ace will want to be freed from Terry's hands Vice Admiral his mother's sole rescue. Or Ace would beg for Terry to resurrect his mother. This strong family affection will make Ace. Keep him going. Portkas D. Ace, the biological son of One Piece, the future marine hero. The hero who ended the era of the great pirates started by Gore D. Roger. I've made an internal decision. Is it just my soul? Rouge doubted Terry in front of him. Not doubting Terry's abilities. But I felt that the price I paid was too low. She is the wife of One Piece Gore D. Roger. As long as she dies and sacrifices her soul, she can make her son grow up healthy. She really couldn't think of a better condition. And she still has days to meet her son every month. It's too good to be exaggerated. That's right. Your son will live the same life as the celestial dragons, the nobles of the world, on the holy land Mariajoy. Brilliant clothes and jade food will continue, and there will be the best teacher in the world to teach him what is benevolence, righteousness, courtesy, wisdom and faith. There will be the most elite coaches to teach him physical skills and let him learn how to fight to protect himself. You will teach him what family and mother love are. Similarly, I will also prepare devil fruit, the rarest mythical beast in the sea, for him, so that he can thrive. I will also appoint him by default and make him a powerful member of the world government. One by one. About Rouge's bright future life for her son. Said by Saint Terry. Let Rouge be completely silent. Compared to people in small villages. The future life of her son. Absolutely unimaginably luxurious. But. Everything in this world has a price. So that her unborn child can enjoy such café in the future. What is the price? The price. My soul is not enough. Rouge closed his eyes. She has already thought about the price. Since Saint Terry can resurrect the dead. So that means he might bring Roger back to life. Let her son and Roger have a killing drama of fatherly kindness and filial piety. 18. She never imagined. Saint Terry offered a more poignant price. That negates the price of the meaning that Roger Chongchi has found in his life. Of course. The price is your son. In the future, 
he will definitely end this turbulent era of great pirates that his father started. It must be ended by his own hands. And your soul is the bargaining chip that drives him to act. There was fear in Ruja's eyes. For the Saint Terry in front of him. She was genuinely apprehensive. Manipulating and manipulating first-class terrible characters. The monster who gave the meaning of Roger's life to the end. Obviously Roger's expectations for his own son. To be able to complete for Roger what he has not done yet. In this world, the tide that will subvert the world is completely opened. To this end, Roger did not hesitate to sacrifice his own life. Just yesterday it made a public declaration to the world. 18. The man in front of me. But he wanted Roger's children to veto everything from Roger himself. Roger's sacrifice. Roger's death. Also all wasted. Killing hearts. But so. Rouge was silent. The choice now is to love Roger. Competing with the love of the child who has not yet been born. Rouge doesn't know how to choose. It's painful. And Saint Terry saw her pain. The corners of his mouth drew a devilish smile. Murmured further. Mrs. Rouge, you must agree to this price if you disagree. Because I not only have the ability to manipulate the soul. I also have the ability to rewrite other people's thinking and manipulate other people's five senses to perceive the outside world. I don't think you want to see this ability used on you. Don't think that I will control your soul and body, and let you cultivate your son into an emotionless, cold-blooded murderous monster, right? Of course, you can also bet on whether I actually have this ability. In the moment Rouge heard this sentence. It was broken. She has no choice. I agreed. Very good. Welcome to the Holy Land. After you give birth to your son, you will have three years with your son. I can guarantee that during these three years, no one in the world can disturb your mother and son. The warm life of people. Even the five elders who control the world government are equally impossible. But as soon as the three-year period comes, I will immediately take your life and soul. Remember. Madame Rouge. Hey. This time, it can be said that I really pretended to be a big villain. I don't know if my wife I am, will be a little grateful to me. Wait until I get Luffy too. Hee <laughs> hee. They are all raised on holy ground. I look at Yimu, her head is not big. I have done so much dedication and sing blackface, will I'm's wife treat me better this time? Give me a promotion and a salary increase. Or meet me in person, chat with me more. Isn't that better? Among the flowers. I am awaiting news from St. Terry. But I heard his words. About his actions. She heard reports from CP9 and CPO. It was also immediately known. What a boring move. When you are relied on by the D family in the future, you will understand that killing them is the best way to enslave the D family. There is only one D family in the world that makes people happy, and that is the completely dead D family. I am snorted. Hard mouth. But she still looks forward to. There is a future in which Gordy Roger's biological son will outright veto everything about Gordy Roger. Have to say, she was a little bit more upright. Completely numb to the title, wife. I am also starting to prepare for the future. As for the messy thoughts in Terry's heart. She always ignores it. Anyway, from what Terry thought. His whimsy are plentiful. Don't need to care at all. It's, he actually wants to take the initiative to get promoted. This is a good thing. It finally inspired his fighting spirit, but he has no promotion. How else can he be promoted? I am didn't know that the purpose of Terry's promotion and salary increase was the daily reward of, improving the lying level. She didn't even know that Terry was sitting in a higher position. It is to be more comfortable not to work. Otherwise. I am afraid that it will not explode directly by gas. Quote dot dot dot. Five elders, CP0 were all used by him. Then give him other rewards. Didn't he want to meet me? Then give you this honor. I am felt that Terry was convinced by his own charm. She is the best in 800 years. Terry this guy is tempted. Naturally normal. Wait for him to give Charlotte Linlin's head first. On the trivia after that. But what concerns me the most, is what Terry said, the power to manipulate prudish souls to revive the dead. I am again seriously analyzing every word from Terry. After her short-lived shock of the fate of the D family. At last. Still attracted by Terry's ability. She has learned how to use Chi. I would love to see about Terry's power of, manipulating and restraining the soul, if she can also learn it. 
When Terry comes back, let him try on the five elders first. If those five old dogs die, they will die. Just another person. As long as Terry works hard. In the palace, the five elders, who struggled to deal with a large number of documents. Suddenly I felt a chill in the depths of my soul. Could it be that Lord Yim is calling us? This feeling is that I am Sama wants to beat us up. Then let's go and get beaten up by Lord Yimu. The five old men looked at each other a few times. After a while of silence. One goes faster than the other. Why are you so active even when you are beaten by Lord Yimu? I still want to ask you. You guys are really. We must be united so that we can escape from the bondage of Saint Terry. 9. You guys are still fighting infighting. It's really impossible. Let's go together. Let's vent your anger to a mom. Let Lord I am be able to pick us up again. Know our worth. Although the five elders are reluctant to admit their worth to Lord Yim. Just sending the devil fruit to Saint Terry. And being beaten up by Lord Yim to relieve the boredom. But in fact, they can't even do these things lately. The five elders feel so bad. Live more and more. I am in a bad mood now and wants to beat someone. Then of course they came to be beaten. Into the periphery between the flowers. The five elders waited slowly for Lord Yim's cry. Result. I am also confused. How the five elders came all of a sudden. Beckoned and let them enter among the flowers. Read their emotions and memories with observation hockey. I am frowned instantly. Staring suspiciously at the five elders. You five, are you seriously ill? Is your brain not working? Want to come to me and be beaten? I am thinks it's outrageous. What is this? What happened to the five elders? The talents she has taught and cultivated in the past. Not so. There is a problem. Still trying to replace it. Quote dot dot dot. It is our duty to solve problems for Lord I am. That's right. We're going to die for Lord I am. One by one, the five elders followed and showed their loyalty. Really. I am frowned. She has never seen a death test to test Terry's ability to resurrect the dead. Also so diligent. To prevent them from repenting. I am asked them again and again. Are you serious? Nature can't be fake. Our loyalty to Lord Yim can be seen in the sky. Dot dot dot. The five elders find it useful to play the family card. Especially useful. Because you see. Lord I am didn't even beat up the five of them anymore. It turned out that the very bad mood. Won't beat them now. This shows that their status has improved. I am ordered to speak again. Well, I heard rumors on Maria Joy that Terry can control the soul to resurrect the dead. Pick one of the five of you to go to Terry's side and take a trip to Wangquan Road to test Terry's ability. Which of you five volunteered? The five elders were immediately stunned. What? What's going on? Aren't they going to be reused? How come? Lord I am. Are you doing something wrong? Such little things. Any criminal can do it. You can solve it by yourself. If you can't choose one person, then I will personally send the five of you over there. I am said this. In an instant, the five of them were thrown out of the flowers. The five elders suddenly looked at each other. Guard against each other. The infighting has begun. Naval headquarters. One step ahead of the warship that St. Terry was on. Returning to Sengoku in naval headquarters with the elite of naval headquarters. Arrange your clothes at this moment. Begin to meet the top leaders of the world government, five elders. He is very serious. Because this time it was the five elders personally on the naval headquarters. Unlike St. Terry's inspection marine preparedness situation. Just in time for the five elders to come. At this point in time when his old friend, Garp, helped protect Roger's wife and children. This makes Sengoku have to pay attention. Sengoku tidying up his clothes. He's going to try to run out of words about St. Terry's accolade and appointment to Garp Vice Admiral. He wished that Celestial Dragon St. Terry as honorary five elders. To be able to face the old five elders. There is some repression and persuasion. Sengoku is nervous. Hope over and over again that St. Terry will not have a deeper conflict with the five elders, 437. He hopes to save his old comrade, Garp. Finally. The five elders called to him themselves. Come in. Sengoku Admiral. As soon as Sengoku entered the door. Then I saw a serious looking old man with swords and glasses. Unlike the five old men who appeared in his imagination at the same time. Only one came this time. 
Marine Admiral Sengoku, meet the five elders, and best regards. Sengoku is serious. He was immediately interrupted by the wave of the old man with glasses. Sengoku Admiral, I heard that you are getting along well with His Highness Saint Terry. Have you played an important role in capturing the bloodline of Roger's descendants before? Sengoku's heart pounded. As predicted, the five elders are here to check. But fortunately, now that HRH Saint Terry has been mentioned. So that means things are turning around. But why? Sengoku's fine observation hockey though can't be stronger than those born monster guys. Able to foresee the future like them, read the emotional memory of others, hear the voice of others. But Sengoku can still feel it well with observation hockey. The emotional state of the five elders in front of him could be seen. When the five elders in front of him mentioned His Highness Saint Terry. A little panic in your eyes. Is this fear, fear? Sengoku with a little doubt. I think this might be the entrance. To my lord five elders, I do get on well with His Royal Highness Saint Terry. In the previous activities to capture the bloodline of Roger's son, His Royal Highness Saint Terry performed extremely well and led our marine elites to capture the woman directly. And by means of thunder, negotiate with it to make it surrender. Sengoku is also aware of the situation. Regarding the fact that Saint Terry is going to keep the blood of Rouge and Roger in captivity on Mariajoy. He is also aware. His Royal Highness Saint Terry also assures that Roger's children will be well groomed to become Marines in the future, ending the turbulent era that Roger ushered in. The five elders heard Sengoku's high sounding words. Frowned. Sighed. He didn't want to hear Sengoku talk this shit. He wanted to know if Saint Terry could manipulate souls and resurrect the dead. Because of the five elders who were dispatched to naval headquarters for inspection, the old man with sword and glasses. It was pushed out by the other four old men. Forcibly experience the lucky ones of, Wangquan Road. Quote dot dot dot. Sengoku Admiral. I want to know, there are details about it. Not these things on the surface. You know what I mean. The five elders looked at Sengoku. Because the five elders also got information from Lord I am. In the case that Saint Terry was there to assure Rouge. There are also conditions for resurrecting the, dead. This can make the glasses old man extremely serious. Even though. The information that I am Sama said. Whether true or false. He has to believe it, right. But. It's about his own life. He is still careful. What if. In case that resurrection costs a lot. Or something wrong. Wasn't he really sent to the underworld by Lord Yim. And Sengoku. In my heart, my heart beat faster, and I secretly said. Really. Still can't escape this step. Or ask Garp about protecting Roger's children. I. I still can't betray Garp. And this matter, with the help of Saint Terry. In the end it didn't turn out to be a disaster. Sengoku thought of the mention of, Saint Terry, in the eyes of the five elders. Inexplicable fear, panic and fear. He replied slyly and tactfully. Quote dot dot dot. Before and after this matter, I have promised to keep it secret from His Highness Saint Terry. Lord Five Elders, I am sorry. Please forgive me for not being able to report this matter. In fact, Sengoku is also gambling. Bet on a conflict between Saint Terry and the Five Elders. If there was no conflict between Saint Terry and the Five Elders. If he saw the wrong emotion in front of Sengoku. Then he Sengoku said this. There are no people inside or outside will lose his soon to be promoted marshal. Not even the position of admiral is guaranteed. But. He was right. Under this sentence. The old man with sword and glasses in front of him. The face of the five elders is very complicated. Especially after hearing about the secrecy. There was even despair on this old five elders face. Sengoku executed many pirates. He knows this expression. That's the look of waiting for a slow death. Point zero. Sengoku pretended not to see. Why did the five elders feel so helpless towards His Highness Saint Terry? Why did the five elders have such a great fear of His Royal Highness Saint Terry? Why did the five elders look like they are waiting for a slow death to His Highness Saint Terry, who is also an honorary five elders? He, Sengoku, Admiral of Headquarters. Do not know anything. Don't dare to ask anything. Just have fun. Ming remember this. Okay. You go out. The tired tone of the five elders. Let Sengoku make this point even more certain. 
I'm afraid that the five elders were not directly manipulated by His Royal Highness Saint Terry. That is to say he Sengoku. Take a good stand on the side of His Royal Highness Saint Terry. He will be in the position of Marshal Marine. Get maximum assistance. Isn't it just to serve His Royal Highness Saint Terry 5.8? In the service of His Royal Highness, who sees penultimate's big picture. Could he still lose Sengoku? Didn't you see that his friend Garp was saved by His Royal Highness Saint Terry? Then I'll go out first. Thump. A sound. Sengoku closed the door. His excellent ear was heard. The sigh of the old man with swords and glasses in the room. Saint Terry. Saint Terry. I beg you to come back later. Let the old man live a few more days. I beg. No. I can't walk alone on Wangquan Road, and the other four immortals must also accompany me. Let the four of them also experience the horrors of His Royal Highness Saint Terry. Sengoku who heard this sentence. Even more stunned. Stay put. He seemed to have learned some shocking secret. Until Saint Terry returns to naval headquarters. He saw the exhausted five elders. Unlike the previous image, there is only one today. The five elders don't seem to be taking advantage of the gesture. But embarrassed. Pleading again with a look of fear. To Saint Terry he made a request. Your Highness Saint Terry, please do an experiment on me. It's about the power of soul manipulation, the flipping of the limits of life and death. I know this request is a bit abrupt. But my life has been in the hands of His Royal Highness Saint Terry from now on. Saint Terry has no idea how the five elders learned about his powers. He did not deliberately conceal his strength and fists. When showing strength to Rouge. Also not hidden in front of CP0 and CP9. So it is normal for the five elders to know. But that doesn't stop Saint Terry from feeling weird. Is it my wife I'm's temptation to me? Or, do you want me to popularize this technology? But even if this technique is popularized, is there enough material in this world? Can you make this fixed prop? Saint Terry clapped his hands. An even better idea came to mind. Yes. Perhaps under my method, since then, there will be no rebellion of the D family in the world. Why not directly announce the existence of this technology to the world? It would be nice to get a team above the five elders and below Yimu, the protector of the king, to mention my position further up. Saint Terry thought that as long as the position goes up, the reward he gets will be better. I started to imagine an institution on top of the five elders. The more I think about it, the more perfect it becomes. As long as I don't sit on the throne. The higher the position, the better. The best position is, I'm's man. The tentative goal is that. In that case, uncle, you should listen carefully. This technology itself, I want to use it to contribute to Lord Yimu to carry out the sustainable development of the immortality plan. But considering the eternal contradiction between the soul and the body, I haven't taken it out for the time being. But, you also know how close my relationship with Uncle Yu is. When Saint Terry said this, I almost didn't give the contents of my stomach. Now that Uncle has opened his mouth. As a nephew, it's not good for me not to act. But I hope that my uncle will be the first person who enjoys this technology and may gain immortality. I hope that you, uncle, can broadcast this technology to the world in a live broadcast. Right here at naval headquarters, announced to the world. In this way, we can cheer people up. Uncle. This era of rampage will begin to restore the original order after our technology is announced. Marine will also welcome countless potential people to join. Saint Terry said and said. He completely pressed the stinky old man's shoulder. This stinky old man can't hear anything. All he had left on his mind was, can get immortality. This is a very tempting speech. I, as the first person to try. Is it possible to obtain the eternal life of the soul? Although contradictions may arise. But continuous cell cloning. Stand by for soul matching to oneself. Ha 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 ha. Those four rubbish never expected to push me out to die. As a result, I got immortality first. What is this called? The blessings of misfortune depend on. Everything is as ordered by His Royal Highness Saint Terry. All the words of His Royal Highness Saint Terry, I will report to Lord Yim in time. This is indeed a great deed that inspires the hearts and minds of the military and people all over the world. 9. Terry nodded. Just be a guinea pig to test Yimu's wife's tone. Chong chong chong. Good uncle. 
If you have something to fight against. Your nephew is here waiting for your good news. The sword-wielding old man ran out excitedly. He couldn't wait to see the envious and jealous expressions of others. Eternal life. What a beautiful synonym that is. Will he touch the realm where I am Sama is? Think of this. The old man immediately started making contact with the five elders far away in Mariajoy. What did you say? Master Saint Terry has the technology to fix and strengthen the soul, and to transfer the soul stably. Isn't that immortality? The genius of His Royal Highness Saint Terry, I can only look up. Sure enough, isn't the limit of life and death no longer an obstacle for His Royal Highness Saint Terry? I was still testing him before I waited, how ridiculous it was like a clown jumping on a beam. Such good news, I need to inform Lord Yuyi immediately. Among the flowers, I am still thinking about how to meet Terry's basic needs and get promoted one by one. Now Terry has automatically conceived an organization of soul immortals above the five old 437 stars. Wouldn't that be great? She I am just sitting on it. As for Terry asking the five elders to test her words in return. I am not at all displeased. Laugh instead. Being good at using people around you is an excellent choice. Very wise. That stupid old dog was blinded by immortality and deserves to be manipulated. Terry doesn't even bother to use his five senses, so you just listen to his words, you are really stupid. I didn't expect to test Terry. As a result, this kid is ready to come up with a shocking technology. Let's rewrite the world. I am more than a surprise. It's been completely stunned. The immortality of the soul, has been resolved. Then next time, isn't it the way to eternal life for the body? I am thinks maybe Terry he has all kinds of different ways can be taken out. But I am here completely ignorant. Even if you listen to his heart. Still can't control the whole situation. Want to be my man. Want me. When I have no more rewards, I will naturally consider it. Saint Terry leaves Maria Joy's original goal. It is to go to the new world to suppress the big pirate Charlotte Linlin. But things are changing now. Seeing that the five elders who are, uncles, are changeable. Then he won't be busy for a few days. Prepare well for the popularization of, soul transfer technology. Take the, uncle, thing to heart. Right. He didn't mean to delay time on purpose. Justifiably benefit from the system. Congratulations to host, who took advantage of his out of office duties to perform the lay flat activity on the position of five elders, and obtained excellent rewards superpower control, charisma plus three, mental power plus two. As for the crusade against the great pirate Charlotte Linlin. Back a little bit. When the chicken finished eating the rice, the dog finished licking the noodles, and the fire broke the lock. I'm going to take the lead in the crusade against Charlotte Linlin. Dedicate her head to my wife I am. I haven't seen him for a few days. Is the, excellent reward, obtained comparable to the events of the past 10 days and months. In a high position. Really got a lot of benefits. While thinking about how to build momentum for Terry, I am. It's no surprise to Terry's idea. Just that sentence. Let him go. What Saint Terry wants to do. Just do it. Anyway, I am, her ability is small. Can't stop. E.H. People have self-knowledge. And I am very smart. A wise man among wise men. I am very clear. Terry has too many skills. She couldn't stop it. You can only think of ways to make him work hard. Therefore. I am again calling the four five elders who remained in Mariajoy to her side. Master Yim, you called us. I have something here for you to accomplish. Hear this sentence. None of the five elders' faces were very good looking. I am frowned. What happened? How can even the old guys like the five elders dare to disobey themselves? Dare to give yourself a face. It's been too long since you beat them. Or are their skins itchy? You guys go and get in touch with Morgans in the world paper and talk about Terry's immortality skills, and let him preach about Terry's indifference to Charlotte Linlin. Let's just say that after Terry left Mariajoy, he felt he had more important things to do than deal with Charlotte Linlin, and this immortality technology was one of them. And then, Terry, he's going to openly experiment with immortality of souls at naval headquarters, and the subjects of the experiment are you five elders. I am not feeling well. The five elders dared to disobey themselves. Then go serve as an experiment for that kid Terry. Go to my wife. 
Disappear as far as you can. It's annoying to see you. If you die, you die. This is called devotion to science. Result. Not as resisted as I am imagined. The remaining four. Heard about being able to experiment with Saint Terry. Excited like being beaten with chicken blood. Face reddish. Eyes widened. Really. Lord I am. Do we old men also have the right to enjoy that soul immortality technology? Us. We are so touched. Lord I am. The five elders are more serious than the other. Their excited looks. Makes I am outrageous. Did they defect? The control on them has not disappeared. A simple immortality. Make them lose themselves completely. Or the charm of that kid Terry. Has it gotten so high? I am very suspicious of this situation. Couldn't help but read emotions with observation hockey. Result. I just saw the emotions full of jealousy, envy, and resentment. Come on. Shouldn't look up to them five elders. They're just a bunch of useless stuff. The next day. The world newspaper is reissued. The new newspapers are making the world a sensation more than ever. The man once again made the headlines of the world's newspapers. For no other reason. All because of one word, immortality. Celestial Dragon St. Terry has thoroughly researched the technology of immortality of the soul, the safe and harmless clone of the human body, and the storage, enhancement and transfer of the soul in the original human body. This is the world's great breakthrough on the subject of immortality. It is the ultimate technology that surpasses devil fruit. The global demonstration of this technology will be open to the world at naval headquarters in three days. And the experimental object of the experimental technology is the supreme controller of the world government, five elders. Saint Terry seems to have completely forgotten that he will personally lead the team to crusade the great pirate Charlotte Linlin, but this is also a matter of course. After all, this immortality technology is more intoxicating than an indifferent Charlotte Linlin. Such news. From the four seas to the new world. Caused a huge stir. Dressrosa there. Da Flamingo, who is still training his own cadres, saw the newspaper. An emotion of resentment appeared on his forehead. Blue veins burst. Backquote this who has been provoking me in the past, how much has he done? Dover, we should go. Hateful. O'Hara. The famous archaeological site of West Blue. Nicole Oravia stared blankly at the youth in the newspaper. Is he still showing his talent? Start making world-shattering events time and time again. I know. An existence like him that shines brighter than the sun. It's impossible to hide yourself so silently. You can't hide yourself completely. After all, ancient history also prophesied. 800 years later. The son of the times who can change the times. Mommy Mommy. Robin. Mom, the big brother who often comes to disturb you is in the newspaper again. Will he still come? Mom. I don't know. Robin, about this, I don't know. Nicole Oravia misses him too. But she also has her own important things to do. She will lead the people of Ohara here. Together to hide and protect the historical text. As Terry said, history is not something that unarmed people like them can examine and protect. Among the hidden weapons, devil fruit, fables. It's too dangerous. Cake Island. The real master who was ridiculed by the world newspapers, Charlotte Linlin has reached the level of anger. Began to beat, smash, and burn his own island. Stupid Morgans. How dare you arrange me like this. Mom. Calm down. Calm down. I can't calm down. Since Terry has forgotten me. Then I will give him unforgettable pain. Gather the army and contact Kaido. My mother wants to teach Terry a good lesson when Naval Headquarters announces the new technology in three days. Have a look. Let him see if the old lady is worthy of him. The great pirate Charlotte Linlin still makes Kaido owe a big favor. Wanokuni. Kaido has just ended a battle with Moria. All his subordinates were slaughtered and slaughtered. He hasn't had a lot of celebratory drinks yet. Result. His subordinate, Jin, suddenly came to Kaido with a newspaper and information. Shouted in a very low voice. Interrupted Kaido, who was still unhappy after the battle. This is a great sin. But Kaido for his three disaster subordinates. Extremely forgiving. Especially this Jin. He is really trustworthy. Boss Kaido, something big. What's wrong? That celestial dragon's Terry, who came up with the technology of immortality of the soul, and the technology of cloning the body, ready to try it against the five elders at naval headquarters in three days. 
Kaido heard this. Instantly changed his face. Gloomy, complicated, excited, expectant, apprehensive. All over his face. Makes it impossible to tell what's going on. Since you dare to let the five elders do experiments. It shows the feasibility of this technology. But I'm the mother fool, she can't get it. Made. Spoiler. Although Kaido maintains his own strength, penultimate. But he is not so proud that he can be comparable to the golden lion some time ago. With the ferocity of the golden lion's furious attack with conqueror's entanglement. Kaido, he can never be like Saint Terry in the image he saw. Block it completely with just one finger. Quote dot dot dot. Marine also has Garp, Sengoku, Kong, these two old acquaintances. Not to mention a Zephyr. Point four four zero. They are more difficult to deal with. I went to break in this time, and maybe my head will be chopped off. Doesn't Kaido desire immortality? Eager. He desires eternal life more than anyone else. He used to be a member of the Rock's ship. But I'm used to seeing life and death. Even the mighty captain of the rocks will perish under the golden spring. Then who will not die? Roger who is similar in strength to rocks. Isn't he dead too? Kaido snorted coldly. If the scientific research organization in the future. On what island? He could forcibly pull the island over. Own it. But the dragon pond and tiger den now exposed. This is what made him die. He doesn't do it. Those who desire eternal life. It's always a life saver. That is Kaido, he likes to play suicide games. That's just an adrenaline pumping game based on the fact that he's sure he can't die at all. Jin also expected his boss to back down on this matter. Immediately, he handed the note again. Boss Kaido. Look at this. Kaido picked up the news handed by Jin in one hand. Instantly changed his face. The original retreat. Turned into excitement and boldness. Lin Lin, this old woman, is finally in a hurry. Ha 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 ha. You can't wait to destroy what you can't get. Cafe Kaido ponders the feasibility of this. As far as Charlotte Linlin's monster physique is yelling out there to buy him time. Perhaps there is still some possibility of abducting technicians back. But the final technology. Have to wait for the time to show. To find out what's going on. Quote dot dot dot. Jin. You go and tell Linlin that I agree. I'll help. Kaido's eyes flashed sly. But when to shoot, I have to decide. Let Lao Tzu take action this time, and her favor, Lao Tzu, will be over. Kaido is ready to kill two birds with one stone. While repaying Charlotte Linlin's favor. On the other hand, you may be able to obtain the so-called, immortality technology. Let Charlotte Linlin make a scene first. Observe a wave of specific situations. Then try not to conflict. Relying on his powerful flesh to abduct the technicians back to Wanokuni. According to Kaido, such and such technology. It was definitely made by technologists. Kaido has been through too much. I know everything. I see, boss Kaido. By the way, Jin, you asked all the six sons of Linkong to come over, I should have a good celebration tonight. Kaido is happy. Especially happy. By the way, don't forget to send a message to the old man in Whitebeard and ask if he wants to go to naval headquarters to make a fuss. After all, is he old too? Yes. Boss Kaido. Whitebeard pirates. On the Moby. There was also a small shock. Dad, that Celestial Dragons actually found the technology of immortality, and is going to conduct public experiments on the five elders at naval headquarters. Marco holds the newspaper in disbelief. Said the latest information to Whitebeard who was drinking. Quote dot dot dot. Really? Captain Marco. The technology of immortality. Marshal D. Teach, who was swung down by the 4th Division, heard the news, his eyes widened, and he stopped the food he was eating. His ambitions began to inflate further. Quote dot dot dot. I don't know if it's true or not, he said that he has thoroughly researched the technology of storage, extraction, and transfer enhancement of the soul plus the cloning research of the mature body of the master in him. That is to say, the dead can be resurrected at will. But how in the world could there be such a thing? Souls? What? Isn't Aunt Chatello Linlin the one with the ability to eat soul fruit? Maybe that master celestial dragons also has some amazing devil fruit in his hand, and developed this technology. Teach swallowed, he would rather believe it was true. Quote dot dot dot. Teach, why are you so curious all of a sudden? 
Marco wondered why Teach, who used to be honest and responsible in the past, was so excited all of a sudden. Teach was stopped by shouting. There is some cold sweat on the forehead. He can't say that he really wants to get this technology. Begin to explain haha. I'm thinking about dad. The injuries on dad's body. There are also side effects and dark injuries caused by shock fruit. If dad can get the blessing of this technology, wouldn't that be? What Teach said. Let all the Whitebeard pirates begin to feel a surge of hope. If someone had to be chosen to live forever. Most people in the Whitebeard pirates will choose, Whitebeard. And the master Whitebeard chuckled lightly and shook his head. I don't need that kind of power technology that violates the ethics of the world. I have you in my life, enough to live. What's more, how do we pirates get that technology? Should I let my dear son go to naval headquarters? I can't bear it. Whitebeard touched his heart and rejected his son's kindness. Dad. Dad. Everyone was silent for a while. Suddenly even more excited. Some joint information came. Dad. Daddy. Suddenly someone from Kaido came over to contact him. Ask Daddy if he is interested in this technology. Would you like to join forces with Kaido and Charlotte Linlin to attack naval headquarters? Teach's eyes lit up. Dad, let's go. This is a great opportunity. With Kaido, Big Mom, and their cover, plus the power of your shock fruit, Dad, even if you can't match the celestial dragons, we grab the technicians and facilities and run. The sacrificed brother, as long as you keep the corpse, you can also be resurrected through this technology in the future. Teach wants more. He also wants eternal life. Yes. Dad. Let's go. Dad. And Whitebeard shook his head. He doesn't want to go back to the old rocks pirate party. Teach. You are too greedy and greedy, and you will suffer a lot in the future. I will not let my beloved sons take risks. Dad, we are willing to take risks for you. Stop talking about this. Whitebeard made up his mind. Everyone knows no more. Only Teach felt a lot of resentment in his heart. Rotten old man. How can you be so greedy for life? Didn't it just kill some crew members? Acquired this technology of immortality. Isn't that where there will be a strong crew to join? Obviously only 50 years old. Why be so cowardly? Did the death of Golden Lion and Roger make you lose your hegemony? Hateful. Hateful. If I can have the ability. If you can find munch munch fruit or dark fruit. Naval headquarters up and down. During these three days. It also ushered in an unimaginably serious atmosphere. Sengoku is busy back and forth. Speaking back and forth. Boost morale. This time it was a worldwide sensation. Maybe it's a sign that can completely end the era of the great pirates that Roger opened. We Marine must stand on the front line to support His Royal Highness Saint Terry, do you understand? There are definitely not a few guys who also covet this technology, the monsters of New World may unite one by one and attack together, come. No matter what, we have to hold on, do you understand? This time it is the defense of the top of the world, and it is also a pivotal moment in history. After this technology is mature, maybe everyone will have the opportunity to enjoy the technology of immortality. Saint Terry stands on the high platform. Just watching Sengoku's speaking tour back and forth. And the exaggerated marine power. He also went to hire marine's former Admiral Zephyr to come back. Even Maria Joy on CPO and all high-end agents from CP1 to CP9. All ready to be in place. The luxurious preparations this time are even worse for Whitebeard than the Summit War in my impression. Garp, Sengoku, Marshal Sora, Zephyr in their heyday, and Sakazuki, Kuzan and the others at the elite vice admiral level. The help of the agents of the CPO. And the help of my maids. This time, should I just concentrate on giving the five stinky old men new bodies? This kind of luxurious lineup needs my shot. Saint Terry doesn't mind shooting. But he is lazy. Others fight show superiority pretend to fight. What does it have to do with him? I just drink tea and rest, isn't it beautiful? If pretending is good, I definitely don't mind pretending. But the point is that there are not many benefits. Last time Golden Lion was helpless. I am also closely watching the situation at St. Terry. For the first time, she walked out of the flowers. In the palace of the five elders. Warm up for the activity. It is for the convenience of being able to go to the rescue at any time. Lord Yim, the members of the CPO organization have all been arranged, 
and the maids of His Royal Highness St. Terry have also all taken their places. Stussy, hand-picked by I am to replace the five elders. Because I'm's mission, crusade against Charlotte Linlin, has not been completed. So I'm still being called by I am. Replacing the lowest labor of the five elders. Very well, you can also go to Marines and watch, always be prepared, and if something goes wrong, you will take action. 9. Stussy heard this. I can't wait to kiss I am too right away. She is really helpless. Served by I am. Unable to get along with His Royal Highness St. Terry. This is really torture. It was extremely painful for her to fall in love. I am can see Stussy's pain. So she changed her mind. Originally, after seeing that Stussy stole Terry. She was furious. I can't wait to devour Stussy alive. But on second thought. It's better to let Stussy stay by his side completely. Grinding her slowly. Let her not get it. I am, she is so relieved. My subordinate understands. I am watching the distant Stussy. Snorted coldly. Foolish covetous men. Only see Terry's appearance. But I never know where the true charm of appreciating Terry lies. Terry's charm lies precisely in his endlessly curious look and feel. I want to explore how many infinite whole cards he has. I am exhaled. Secretly decided. No. Terry must be recalled to Maria Joy. Otherwise you can't see him outside. It's really hard to bear. It has been more than 20 days since we last met. We should meet again. The other side. The maids who just arrived at the St. Terry's house in the Holy Land Maria Joy. Already busy back and forth for Terry. And Terry was sitting on the highest seat next to Marine Admiral. Crossed Erlang's legs. Your Highness, this is the juice you want. Good. Your Highness, here's your snack. Not bad. Those good-looking maids, big or small. Open everyone's eyes. What is luxury? What is enjoyment? Really envious. Standing at the port, Kuzan, who was fully preparing for the battle, also shook his head. Your Highness will really enjoy it. Sakazuki didn't deal with Kuzan. I think people who contribute to penultimate should enjoy it. After St. Terry popularizes this technology to Marine in the future, we can immediately eliminate those pirates one by one at the cost of casualties. Pulsolino also nodded to that. That's right, I didn't expect the rumors about that highness to be true, which is shocking. It's really terrifying, to be able to resurrect the dead from life and death, wouldn't the monsters of the past be resurrected? Kuzan also scratched his head at this. It is estimated that there is some price, otherwise, this is too terrifying. But the five elders are on top, no matter what the price is, after it's made public, it won't be so high, right? Now that he has the courage to make a public declaration, Porosalino said seriously. For a while, Kuzan and Sakazuki shut their mouths. One thing to say, indeed. Fortunately, Kuzan is still excited. Immediately broke the strange atmosphere. Speaking of which, what about Garp Vice Admiral? He went to see Madame Rouge at Maria Joy. After all, he is very emotional, for fear that His Royal Highness St. Terry would not take good care of Madame Rouge as agreed. Now that he is almost back, he will not be sloppy in important matters. 9. Well, back. Isn't his ship coming? Pelusolino knows it again. Kuzan is truly amazing. Why can't any topic be avoided, His Royal Highness St. Terry? Then, how about the extras? Getting up the courage to climb out of the bar. Why? Because Kaji wanted to be an ordinary friend with Gion two days ago, and was told by Gion, His Royal Highness St. Terry said that those who take the initiative to say that they want to be ordinary friends with women or those with bad intentions, just ignore it. The plus was wounded. Pelusolino knew it again. Kuzan would love to say a word or two about Pelusolino's eight trigrams, as well as getting down to business. How did all the Marines' eight trigrams and even the Mariajoy rumors know about it? And can their conversation bypass St. Terry? Just when Kuzan felt outrageous. The sudden black stormy weather. All the people changed their faces. Coming. It's time to come. Only St. Terry, who enjoys maid service on the high platform. With frivolous eyebrows, he said, hold an umbrella. Take shelter from the rain. Yes, His Royal Highness St. Terry. Of. All over the world. All watched with great nervousness at this gigantic public technology demonstration. The taboo of life, immortality. For most people in the world. Definitely a fanatical dream. And today. 
at naval headquarters. It will be the celestial dragon Saint Terry who decapitated the golden lion Shaki. Publish in person. Eternal life, is it really possible? Or can it really be applied to everyone? Quote dot dot dot. It should be impossible. After all, it is eternal life. Enjoy the things of life to the fullest. Maybe it will only be realized and simulated on the world nobles. Most of the, 447, civilians do not believe the upper class nobles. This world government will treat its people so kindly. If there is such a good situation, there will be no countries that are poor and can't afford the, gold in the sky, to become non-affiliated countries. Then it was attacked by human traffickers and pirates. But anyway, the emergence of this technology greatly began to stimulate everyone's yearning. If it is simply to serve the world government, or simply be a dog for that Highness Saint Terry, if you can have eternal life, they will surely rush. The longing is spreading. Countless people are nervous as if their hearts are about to jump out. Sweat keeps flowing without knowing it. Tightly. Staring closely at the screen. People around the world are looking forward to that moment. Still some time away. What is that? Cover the sky. Why naval headquarters? Is it some kind of monster pirate? They are also eyeing that soul immortality technology. No way. Another terrifying being like that monster golden lion Shaki. What's the panic? Isn't there still His Highness Saint Terry who chopped off golden lion Shiki's head with a knife? And naval headquarters. After the overwhelming dark weather. Several messengers came running in a row. Urgently report to St. Terry, Five Elders and Marine Marshal Kong where the high platform is located. Report. Charlotte Lin Lin, the great pirate of the New World, her family's troops, along with her 28 pirates, disappeared from our observation. Report. The great pirate Kaido of the New World suddenly left Wanokuni with only four of his three plagues. Report. Captain John the Great Pirate of the New World and his 17 pirates have disappeared. Report. Akoku, the Great Pirate of the New World, and his 15 pirates have escaped our observation. Report. Silver Axe, the Great Pirate of the New World, and his 23 pirates are rushing towards the Gate of Justice in our naval headquarters. Continuous loud cries. The entire naval headquarters was instantly suppressed up and down. Whether it is Sakazuki or. Or Kuzan. Even Pelusolino put away his joking expression. Each expression was stiff and dull. This number of pirates is no joke. And they are all the pirates of the New World, a pirate group that is bigger than a monster. Hey hey hey. Isn't this basically all the monsters from the New World coming? A total of more than 100 pirate groups. Are they all going to attack our naval headquarters? Are we really able to resist this attack? Is it for the technology of immortality? Marine Marshal Kong unleashes a powerful hockey all over his body. Overwhelm the audience. Begin to take the lead in breaking through the oppressive atmosphere. What is it like? You are the elite of the Marines. The hope of justice for the whole world. Now the five elders of the world government and His Royal Highness Saint Terry are sitting here. What are you panicking about? Is there anything wrong with the Whitebeard pirates? Kong's biggest worry is that Whitebeard is also involved in the battle. Under this dark, dark sky. In case Whitebeard and his 32 pirates also come. Then the situation will be extremely bad. Report to the marshal. The Whitebeard pirates are holding a banquet on Phylong Island, there is no change. Very good. You continue to observe the Whitebeard pirates. As soon as they have any changes, report them immediately. Yes. At the same time, Marine Hero Garp also walked slowly from the port step by step. Many Marines made way for him respectfully. Just let him walk towards the highest point of naval headquarters to defend the admiral position. Point zero. No one doubts that Garp can't take that position. Nor questioned the power of Garp. Garp is a living legend. Garp, who has always had a relaxed expression, is now. Also frowned. Steps are heavy. Really, so much has happened in just a few days. 5.8. Could it be a party of old friends? Kaido, Charlotte Linlin, Akoku, Silver Axe, John, plus Shaki from a while ago. Is our naval headquarters really a party venue? With this word spoken, the one who walked out with Garp and gave Marine a little boost was the original Marine Admiral, Zephyr. Zephyr Instructor. Zephyr Instructor, you are here too. Great. Great. Zephyr Instructor. He even came. Why? People are puzzled. 
Only St. Terry smiled faintly. The reason is simple. He successfully captured Zephyr. At the price of this soul immortalizing the dead. Garp and Zephyr, the presence of these two men gave Marine a lot of morale. As the two moved towards the Marine Admiral location. Slowly sat down beside St. Terry. St. Terry also spoke to Zephyr and Garp. Zephyr Admiral, you can rest assured, if you wish, after this incident. Your wife and son, I will call you back from the Yellow Springs. You are Marine's hero, how could the hero's family be killed by such threats from pirates? Zephyr didn't answer, he simply closed his mouth. This time he shot. First, because naval headquarters is under such a big threat. May lead to the destruction of naval headquarters. The second is to be able to see his wife and son again. If possible. Now hearing St. Terry's promise to him. Zephyr couldn't say anything. Twenty for such words, more than any promise of reward. All made Zephyr feel excited. And Garp also saw the moving faces of his old comrades. Cannot help but let out a breath. Strong man. There is also the weakness of family and family. Before waiting for what Garp said. St. Terry even spoke up here. Garp Vice Admiral, Mrs. Rouge, I'm taking good care of me. She must be stable on Mariajoy with her miscarriage. Single quote single quote. Garp was speechless, he did this in a biased way. Don't worry, Mrs. Rouge's child will be well nurtured and taught, and he will be marine to take your place. Ha ha ha, that's fine. Garp's smile is reluctant. He didn't know how to face St. Terry. Disdain for celestial dragons. Or is it an exaggeration and respect for St. Terry himself that is factual, authentic, humane, and caring about the people? Garp is very confused about St. Terry as a person. Straightforward he doesn't understand. He can only make guarantees. Quote dot dot dot. Boy, no. Your Highness St. Terry, the maid by your side, if there is any danger, I will protect you. Garp knows the strength of St. Terry. I can't compare myself. But St. Terry was too strong and always have only two fists and two feet. There will always be negligence. In case the pirates take the life of the maid next to St. Terry as a threat. St. Terry relented and handed over some important information. That's the worst thing ever. Having said that, but being able to get Garp to speak out about the people who protect celestial dragons. It has already made him pay a great deal of determination. Thank you to Garp Vice Admiral then. I will protect you too. You can rest assured. His Royal Highness St. Terry. St. Terry doesn't say much. Looking at the maid next to him who was holding an umbrella for him. Shaking his head helplessly. How can one or two look down on me, but both look down on my maid? Anyway, he is also the Conqueror's Hockey Grandmaster, plus the person who has perfected the Marine six styles and returned his life. I also ate the Logia fruit, rain rain fruit. Not to mention, I also taught them to try the use of Master Chi and use my own superpower to help them awaken their superpower. Dot dot dot. A Marine Admiral again. The moment when everyone is silently waiting. Saint Terry felt helpless, when the world looked down on his maid. A roar of a loud female voice completely broke the balance of the world. The blazing sun in the sky is burning, breaking through the dark clouds. The ocean on the sea is rolling, bringing a huge tsunami. Black clouds move with it. Lightning and storms are also roaring. Obviously not a terrible weather scene that can appear together. But at the same time, it is supported in one piece. For no other reason. Just because that treads on the black cloud. A middle-aged woman armed with a huge blade is a monster of the new world, with fiery flames for hair, thunder and lightning for armor, and storms for riding. The great pirate Charlotte Linlin. The monster who ate the soul fruit. A powerful pirate who can give things the power of soul life. Saint Terry. The old lady is here for you. Gia ha 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 ha. This is a gift from the old lady. Come and see. We oh. She roared out. The great sword in his hand emits black and purple lightning sparks. Huge hockey, sword aura slashed with her wielding blade. Straight towards the high platform where naval headquarters Saint Terry sits. The mighty hockey and the mighty force that are wrapped up. Let the elite vice admiral of the naval headquarters be forced to be immobile. Because that's the force that carries the conqueror's shock. They can't hold themselves back against it. Even Sakazuki, Kuzan, Pulsolino. Their early twenties. The 447 chi and physical skills on his body are not comparable to Charlotte Linlin, 
who is already 45 years old and has reached the peak of all abilities. If you fight against this, powerful country, now. Then the three of them will be under the pirate offensive in the future. Lost a lot of combat power. The battle that awaits you can be described as a hard struggle. So many pirates. It can only rely on the domineering ability of the Logia fruit. A massive mass attack is possible. One can only expect Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr in the Admiral position. Cast your eyes on the living legends who were also in their prime. Several of them looked at each other. Garp rolled up his sleeves. Ready to meet. As a result, he has not waited for his shot. A figure beside Saint Terry was faster than him. Faster and more decisive. My Highness, I will guard here. Garp Vice Admiral also asks you to save your stamina. Hakoku. Under everyone's unbelievable eyes. The girl who held the umbrella for Saint Terry. Suddenly closed the dark blue umbrella. Disappeared in place. An extremely exaggerated power erupted. Dong Yi. A sword energy carrying the blue-black conqueror's hockey. Suddenly hedged away from the air. Collision with the purple-black, mighty state, released by Charlotte Linlin. A strong explosion occurred. That hedge against the shock of the explosion. To crack the sky. Many marine elites couldn't bear the impact of the explosion and were knocked to the ground. Hockey's collision. It's not a simple thing at all. The elites of naval headquarters. Most of them don't spend their entire lives getting to the point where Big Mom can simply use the one blow that Hockey unleashes. Not to mention resisting. Quote dot 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 exclamation mark question mark quote. Charlotte Linlin's eyes widened. Looking at the woman floating on the high platform of naval headquarters in the distance. Exudes the charming charm of national color and heavenly fragrance. Holding a just closed umbrella in his hand. Just look at her like that. This woman. She remembers. The maid next to St. Terry. The elite of naval headquarters. And people all over the world are watching the situation. They thought that someone would take action. For example Admiral of Headquarters, Sengoku. Take Marine Heroes, Garp. Another example is Marine's original Admiral, Zephyr. Or the Celestial Dragon St. Terry who blocked all the moves of the Golden Lion Shiki with a single finger. But it never occurred to me. One of St. Terry's maids was able to do just that. The maid next to St. Terry actually blocked Auntie's powerful country. That's not blocking. That's called being evenly matched. That maid used, Hakoku. That's not a giant's move, so why does she do it? No. The key is why the maid is able to float in the air. It's so easy. The, Hakoku, in the front hand has already surpassed most people. More than that. Didn't you see that the sky was cracked by the collision just now? Woman. Who are you? The ant roared. She doesn't believe in guys like this. To be silent. Just a maid. Maybe some monster is disguised. Is it a CPO? Or other hidden military salutes on Mariajoy? I am the umbrella maid next to his highness, and I was given the code name, Shu Yu, by his highness. A beautiful girl named, Shu Yu. Raise the umbrella again. The thin rain follows her words. Sprinkled from the sky. As soon as these words come out. It made everyone's guess even deeper. People choked up. Totally unexpected. A little umbrella made beside Saint Terry. It has such a huge ability. His Royal Highness Saint Terry is too scary. He has a few maids by his side. One is delivering juice, one is feeding snacks, one is, rubbing his shoulders and beating his back. Shouldn't. Marines. People all over the world. For the first time, I saw the whole cards beside Saint Terry. That which is a little exposed. Leave them stunned completely speechless. Saint Terry is too scary. Far in the Sabayati archipelago. Pluton Rayleigh, who also observed the situation. Also frowned. He is not a weak guy. He could see that the first collision had just occurred. How much detail is there? This detail. Scared Pluton Rayleigh. Codenamed. Shu Yu, is this guy just a maid beside that celestial dragon's kid? Quote dot dot dot. Roger, it's a little bit more than you and I expected. It's kind of bad. Rayleigh knows what his captain thinks. Also understand the difficulty of a simple celestial dragon's Saint Terry. Maybe that celestial dragon's Saint Terry will break all of Roger's plans. But looking at it this way. The background of this celestial dragon's Saint Terry is too amazing. The power of a single person. Sometimes it doesn't work. 
Rayleigh has seen the most powerful being in the world. It must also be able to be dragged by the large number of people. Just hold on. Then things will turn around. But now the maids around St. Terry. It seems that one is prettier than the other. One is more extraordinary than the other. This is too exaggerated. Rayleigh's mood is complicated. He wants to work harder for his captain. Rayleigh took a sip. Touched his sword. Want to move. You can't go, Rayleigh. It's too dangerous there. Even if the Roger pirates are involved, they will be destroyed. Shaki. Rayleigh's old friend. Former member of Rock's Pirate. Stopped his urge. The heritage of Mariajoy, which I had the opportunity to show today. Don't you think it would be better to just wait and see? Shaki stopped Rayleigh. But Rayleigh's eyes were sharp. But, wait until the future, when things are done here, will there really be someone on this sea who can stop the celestial dragons? That is the technical ability of immortality, and it can even resurrect the dead. This sea is full of regrets and desperate, there are not a few people who want to revive their relatives and friends. If he really made him declare success today, then in the future, the sea will be full of his manpower and power. There is no place in the world celestial dragons, it may become the norm in the future. Shaki. Shaki nodded. I know it's scary. But I don't want me to be the lackey of celestial dragons in order to resurrect you because of your reckless behavior today. Rayleigh, you should know what I mean. Shaki said and lit a cigarette. You've disembarked from Roger's boat, and the turmoil of this world has nothing to do with you. Rayleigh. You promised me. No more sailing. Rayleigh was silent about it. Cannot help but put down the sword in his hand. The word love. Hardest to betray. He has been for Roger. I have failed Shaki for more than ten years. He didn't want Shaki to spend the rest of his life for his life. Really be the lackey of celestial dragons again to serve them. Rayleigh was still much softer. Speechless for a while. Keep drinking and watch. Just hope things turn around. Aunt, Kaido, they can do it. Big Mom Charlotte Linlin. Giggled. The fleet behind her. In the great waves. Began to coat out of the sea. Just floating on the sea. The huge pirate fleet of dozens of pirates. Dense numbers. Overwhelming all who watch. He couldn't help but take a breath of cold air. Where did so many pirates come from? It's already. There are hundreds of pirate groups. This is even scarier than last time. Is it the end of the world? Are these pirates all trying to snatch the so-called soul immortality technology? Can the celestial dragons really be able to stop it? Start to appear. The first to appear is Katakori, who has gradually become famous, and his younger brothers and sisters. Mother. Then there are Charlotte Linlin's old comrades in the past. Linlin, you can say it. After grabbing the technology, we can use it together. Quote dot dot dot. Your vision is only 460. This time I want to accomplish what rocks didn't do, take down celestial dragons and Mariajoy. Kuzan moved. I've never seen so many pirates. The posture of hundreds of thousands of people. Sakazuki's naturally fierce face also began to shake. Quote dot dot dot. We've all come together, just to gather all our strength to destroy them with all our strength. Porosalino shook his head. In the current situation even Pelusalino can't say anything. Too exaggerated. Eternal temptation. It's so exaggerated. If this battle fails. Then the world will definitely have the greatest upheaval in history. It is impossible for them to remain indifferent. But before that. They have to observe the situation first. I always feel that the umbrella made floating in the air. Still hiding. Her strength. Absolutely terrifying. It seems that the old lady is going to teach you a good lesson for this maid. Otherwise, I'm afraid you don't even know who your mistress is. Led by Charlotte Linlin. She was already feeling impatient with the, Shu Yu, floating in the sky. Sticky little girl. Charlotte Linlin can't wait to tear her face apart. Give her a most profound lesson. Emperor sword, broken blade. Flames and thunder are entwined with the sword body. The tsunami and storm began to strike around Charlotte Linlin's feet. Show me the old lady. Just a maid. A terrifying force capable of easily destroying a nation. On Charlotte Linlin's body to the fullest. Ha 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 ha. Just like the end of the world. The overwhelming attack leader, I, swept through them indiscriminately. Charlotte Linlin. Instead of paying attention to that maid. 
she is more concerned about St. Terry sitting on the high platform of naval headquarters. Quickly come, hit me up yourself. Charlotte Linlin's eyes are full of burning heat. Hoping to be confronted by St. Terry himself. It's best to start a conversation cordially with him. The so-called deep love, hate all. Until this little maid dies before your eyes. You will regret it. I will take this naval headquarters. Totally messed up. Charlotte Linlin increases the fire and thunder on her hands. Sweep away. Come watch me. St. Terry. Come see me. Charlotte Caffey Linlin is like a child who lacks love. Longing to be watched by St. Terry. A. From start to finish. St. Terry didn't even bother to owe his eyes. For him. Charlotte Linlin is so brutal. It doesn't look good either. She looks like a middle-aged aunt. So why is he watching? This can make Charlotte Linlin's self-esteem. Frustrated again. Ah ah ah. She howled wildly. The magic sound began to exaggerate with the previous attack. Charlotte Linlin, you are disturbing your highness. Inexplicably raining. Started down. Tick tock. From the drizzle. It turned into a downpour in an instant. It echoes the scorching sun, thunder, storm, and tsunami swung by Charlotte Linlin. Is it rain? Where did the rain come from? What happened? Kuzan stroked the rain near him. Charlotte Linlin should not have the ability to control the rain, and this rain, can offset the fruit ability. It does not control its own frozen fruit ability to freeze it. Just feel it. This was startling. Sakazuki looked heavily at the maid above the sky with the umbrella open. As the group weakening the fruit ability. Pulsolino said indifferently. If it is Logia, if it is elementalized in advance, it can completely escape the reign of this debilitating ability. But I just don't know how the anther can resist. After all, it's her who is attacking now. And is the main ant Charlotte Linlin. He was also very keen to discover the strange power of this reign. Her fruit ability and physical strength actually began to lose and decrease. How dare you play these little tricks. The blade in my mother's hand. The thundercloud in hand, the sun withered. But the ant herself was not much affected. For a monster like her. The so-called fruit ability. The big deal is to keep using the powerful hockey to resist. 18. The ant who rides the clouds herself. But also because the soul given to the cloud dissipates and indecently fading from the sky. And the bottom where the ant fell is a large ocean. Mother. Linlin. Admiral is spearhead. Big Mom Charlotte Linlin's loss in fruit ability. In an instant, the pirate group behind him was startled. A good boost to the morale of Marine in the world. Well done. That made with the umbrella. As expected of the person next to the legendary celestial dragons, the monster ant was shriveled with just such a move. Nice job. As long as she falls into the sea, no matter how monster that ant is, she will be repelled by the sea until she drowns. That's great. A big pirate just got caught. Just as people all over the world are looking forward to Big Mom's loss and even, death. I saw the ant wearing red and black hockey all over the body. Wrapped around the body. Angry. Feet are stepping on the air. Thump. A sound. Pierce the air from the direction of the drop. Broke through the package of rain. Suddenly it flew in the direction of the maid. Do you really think that the old lady is a vegetarian? Give me death. Gorgeous abilities. Saint Terry is an old lady. You understand. That mighty hockey. Terrifying as always. No one could ever imagine. A middle-aged woman with a huge body and a fat body can instantly burst into the air with extremely fast speed. Death to my mother. Boom. The sky screams in the sky. The ground of naval headquarters begins to crack. Once again a huge crack appeared in the sky. Obviously, the fruit ability that endowed Leyen's soul disappeared. But the thunder and lightning could not stop flashing. Charlotte Linlin's all-out blow. With an extremely strong hockey-wrapped fist. Blocked. He was blocked by Hockey, who was holding his hands open by the other two maids. That, Shu Yu, who was holding an umbrella originally locked by the ant. Still holding an umbrella lightly in the air. Not affected by anything. Like the great pirate Charlotte Linlin's full strength. However. Just enough to make people laugh. What? Those were the two maids who served St. Terry with tea and snacks. Did they block that ant's full strength attack so lightly? That St. Terry never shot. You see a maid standing behind him, rubbing his shoulders and beating his back. Perhaps. That maid is even more terrifying. 
Now Big Mom has become a joke. The great pirate who is invincible in the new world. However, he was forced into a disadvantage by three maids. Really funny. No one in the world continues to pay attention to this Aunt Charlotte Linlin. From their perspective, Charlotte Linlin will be defeated sooner or later by the attack of the three maids. Most importantly, what everyone is staring at is Saint Terry. He seems to be at the heart of the battle. Every move, touch the world. Only the three maids who run errands and do errands around. Just pressed that monster Charlotte Linlin into this shape. So how terrifying is he? He moved. The celestial dragons he moved. It's not that he moved. It's, time has come. It's exactly 10 o'clock in the morning. The technology of immortality, is about to be revealed. Soul lives forever. But there are so many pirates ahead. Can he really cast it unharmed? The whole world was greeted by the gesture of Saint Terry rising from his seat. Pinched his throat. I feel like I can't breathe easily. Too nervous. So horrible. What will happen next? Little. Saint Terry, do you want me to help? There, Garp dropped his chest circling arms and looked earnestly at Saint Terry who stood up and started walking towards the five elders seat. I can also take action to protect. Zephyr was equally serious. You don't need two marine heroes to shoot. What is the use of a bull's knife to kill a chicken? The task of protecting my research and technical process can be done by my maid. Saint Terry smiled warmly. The maid in my family who helped me rub my shoulders and beat my back is almost as good as you guys. As far as her strength that can touch my body and the way hockey uses it. It's not as easy as covering armament hockey with Auntie's invulnerable steel body. In addition to the Udemon's fruits she ate, she would not be afraid of these things at all. Then I'll leave it to you. Yes, your highness. I'll be the one to guard here. The red-haired maid, kneeling down and walking towards Saint Terry who was leaving step by step, assured. The other side. The pirates who came with Charlotte Linlin. Also started to get restless. Cut. This guy Linlin is getting old. Has he really become a waste? Little ones, rush with Lao Tzu. Now that it's time. Then it's time to slaughter those five elders. And I, Captain John, will be the first to enjoy eternal life. John. Hold back a moment. It should be me, Akoku. Quote dot dot dot. Rush. Rush for Lao Tzu. Those pirates. See Charlotte Linlin's loss. And the step-by-step -step actions of Saint Terry. I can't hold back the longing in my heart. Began their attack. With the actions of Saint Terry, the attack of the hundreds of pirates has completely begun. At the same time, hidden in the dark under the sea. Kaido, who carefully observed the situation in live broadcasts all over the world. Also opened his eyes. Boss Kaido, is it time for us to go out? No. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. We'll have to see if the Celestial Dragon's kid comes out with the real thing. But in case, if the materials are not enough, don't we? Not enough materials. I'll go grab it later. But now we can't go up as soldiers to die. Kaido's eyes widened, angrily scolding his subordinates. Even that stinky Linlin -lin has been defeated by the three maids of celestial dragons. It means that the three maids of his are definitely stronger than the three of you. And isn't there a maid who has just been dispatched? The red-haired one who rubbed the shoulders and backs of the celestial dragons kid in front. The three maids in front, one holding an umbrella, one carrying water, one delivering snacks, looked extremely delicate. But they defeated Linlin. -lin. So how strong do you think the red-haired woman who beat her back and rubbed her shoulders for the Celestial Dragon's kid? Kaido said here. The back of the three disasters was instantly wet with cold sweat. Is it so scary? How come the maids by Celestial Dragon's Saint Terry are better than monsters? You think John, Akoku, Silver Axe, and the rest are useful now? That's called death. Take a good look at Lao Tzu. I will save the three of you later. Kaido has always been plotting and then acting. Especially against powerful guys. He doesn't like recklessness. His premise is that. The other party is all chicken. But the problem is that the other party in front of you is not a rookie at all. Even a terrifying existence that could take his life. This made Kaido think about it carefully. He doesn't think it's time to reveal it now. Therefore. Madly cursed at his three disasters. Let them consume Marine's strength first and test the details of the red-haired maid. Kaido would rather be picked by other pirates. I don't want to give up my life now. You can grab it after you die. 
but dead. Will someone resurrect him? His daughter Yamato. Naval Headquarters. The ferocious attack of the pirates has already begun. In immortality. Even under the great stimulation of resurrection. These thugs who lick their blood and live their lives. Has turned into the most vicious guys in the world. Although under the pouring rain created by St. Terry's maids, rain raw in ability. Most of the ability users are greatly suppressed by the ability of the fruit. 18. Pirates of the New World. And the elites of naval headquarters. Not only the so-called fruit ability. Hockey, taijutsu, and artillery fire are the keys to their survival in the New World. More than this. Able to use armament hockey forcefully to resist the feeling of weakness caused by the pouring rain. Forcibly here. On this battlefield of the sea. Use your abilities. For example, Kuzan, who has successfully paved a huge ice road on the sea. 470, was blazing with lava fire and evaporating heavy rain, destroying the enemy's Sakazuki with one punch and one pirate group. Pulsolino, who can completely ignore the heavy rain, fires a laser cannon in the air. There is also Gion, a thunderfruit capable person who turned into a sweeper in the rain. It is simply a big killer to clear up the pirates. But, there are many monsters in New World. The legendary great pirate John, Akoku, Silver Axe. The three are like three sharp knives tearing through marine's encirclement. No luck. There is no obstruction. The average marine couldn't even delay their time by a second. Give me the technology of immortality. Terry. If you don't want to die. Just be obedient to Lao Tzu. Not even the vice admiral cadres of the marine elite couldn't stop it. Sakazuki, Kuzan, Pulsolino, Gion. Still too young. In the rainstorm. The lightning landing has become a weapon of attack. The huge axe slashed, causing the sea to shake, the sea to swell, and an exaggerated water column to rise into the sky. Rolled three people together. Straight towards Saint Terry. But the lord who was attacked. Even the attitude of taking a serious look is too lazy to owe it. Still go its own way. Rather, he still maintains that detached and indifferent attitude. Step by step to the heights where the five elders are. Ignoring all circumstances, glances, malice, admiration. Any outside emotion strikes. Couldn't let him make waves. This contemptuous attitude. Let the forces all over the world watching the live broadcast. Stunned. Are the celestial dragons not afraid at all? Now the marines and the pirates have been fighting an inexorable war. Aren't those five elders not panicking at all? What if they were affected by some huge external force on immortality technology under such circumstances, resulting in their own death? That St. Terry's heart was too big. He's not afraid of death. Then the five elders will die too. Or does he have that kind of control? Everyone doesn't know the current situation. But the whole world remembered the last time the Golden Lion forcibly broadcast the live broadcast to the world. St. Terry destroyed the attitude of the Golden Lion with one finger at that time. Also this expression. It was so contemptuous back then. That's true. After all, the three pirates are not the kind of existence that can destroy the world like the Golden Lion. Even the Golden Lions are not one-shot enemies. They, what are they? Yes. The shock and fear of the Golden Lion are still vivid in my mind. Ha 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 ha. Don't get carried away. Brat. I am John. Dot dot dot. Silver Axe. Quote dot dot dot. Akoku. The three pirates on the rocks pirate face the disdainful Saint Terry. Just got mad at Ultimate. Why are they inferior to Golden Lion Shaki? Why not as good as Whitebeard? Uh-huh. What do you think of us? Stinky boy. Give me a death first. But the more they shouted. The more unable to get an answer. Saint Terry's pace is steady. There was no panic at all. It's like treating the three big pirates as air people. This angered them even more. They want to go further. But it's bang dong dong. Smashed into the ground. Created huge pits. The thunder, hockey, and sword chi that had been overwhelming before all dissipated. For no other reason. Just because the three people in the marine admiral seat moved. Garp. Sengoku. Exclamation mark. Three top marines in their heyday. One by one to crush them down. Make marines morale even better. The most powerful pirate Charlotte Linlin has been suppressed by the three maids of His Royal Highness St. Terry. According to the situation there. It's only a matter of time before they lose. Point zero. 
Now the three pirates who ripped apart Marine's defenses fiercely. The three most powerful. It was also suppressed by the Marine legend. So, this battle, will be their Marine victory. Even with some tough guys. There is the more terrifying Marshal Sora. And the red-haired maid of His Royal Highness Saint Terry. Everything is so reassuring. Boy, do you dare to respond to us directly. Garp. Sengoku. God you, get out of my way. But even so shouting. The response was. After Sengoku turned into a great Buddha, the shock wave that he took with all his strength. Stop talking nonsense. At this very moment, it is the crucial moment for that highness to restore Marine's dignity. The era of pirates should end. After more than 10 days, it's time to end. I won't let you get in the way of the public declaration. And that Saint Terry. Finally, after much anticipation. Mounted next to the position of the five elders. He opened his mouth. It's 10 o'clock, so it's time to show the world the so-called immortal experiment technology of soul reincarnation and cloned body. As for the technicians who performed, I was the only one. But I don't like to be disturbed very much. And a pirate's romance 5.8 life is also a life. So I, who have always respected the preciousness of life, gave a chance to all the pirates who invaded naval headquarters. I count down tens of seconds. If within 10 seconds, you cannot stop what you are holding, completely shut your mouth, and wait quietly in front of naval headquarters to watch my technology demonstration. Then I will personally liquidate you. Within 10 kilometers, if there are still pirates there, noisily carrying out killing activities. I will wipe out all of you who are making noise and disturbances. In case my experimental technique is disturbed by outside sounds. As soon as these words come out. The hundreds of thousands of pirates in groups. With everyone in the world. All stunned. Full of silence. Even Charlotte Linlin, the aunt who was stalemate with the maids, also had dull eyes. What did the celestial dragon say before? Ten seconds. Real or fake? Although he was able to kill the legendary pirate golden lion Shaki like a dog, there are hundreds of thousands of pirates in the video. Could it be that he's going to use that kind of swordsmanship of mass destruction? Like the last time, he slashed the golden lion Shaki with one sword, and the swordsmanship that made the sea completely calm. But, how could he separate Marine from the pirates in the middle of this big fight? Or did he just want to attack indiscriminately? Although everyone knows the strength of this Saint Terry. But, that's the lives of hundreds of thousands of New World monster pirates. Even if I go to the slaughterhouse to behead one by one. Also have to chop for months without eating or drinking. How could he? It's possible to do this right before the tech show. Dressrosa. Dover 20 Lumingo, his eyes fixed on the image of Saint Terry, his exaggerated speech to the ultimate. An exaggerated wicked smile appeared on his face. Sigh, sigh, sigh. There are more monsters in the new world than one. You who have committed public anger will be forcibly dragged down. I'm waiting for you in hell. Even if you're in Mariajoy. Sabayati Archipelago. In a bar. Rayleigh and Shaki. He was also stunned by Saint Terry's words. How could he say such a thing? Does he still have any details? I don't know. But he's definitely hiding something. Just under the sea not far from naval headquarters. Hidden Kaido. He was also looking at Saint Terry's declaration in the video. Single quote dot dot dot. Boss Kaido, what should we do? Are we going up? No. Wait. I have a bad feeling. Compared to the madness of ordinary people. Kaido is more timid and afraid of death. He was afraid that if Saint Terry, regardless of Marine's casualties, went there to slash the hundreds of thousands of pirates with sword skills. Then these hundreds of thousands of pirates really seem to be killed by cutting vegetables. Wait until these 10 seconds later. I want to see what that celestial dragons is going to do. Among the flowers of Mariajoy. I am as different from the surprise of ordinary people. She burst out laughing. Happy expression. Terry's domineering, active. Is a good thing. The more domineering. The more it shows Terry's positivity. You're still in the world. Very good. That's it. Verbal excitement. Her eyes were full of anticipation. Last time she took from the video that Terry showed. Learn how to use chi. So what about this time? What can she learn this time, I am. That's how Terry is. All that rubbish should be swept into the trash can. No need for mercy. I am again she misunderstood something. Full of joy. 
and here at Naval Headquarters, which has attracted worldwide attention. As if under St. Terry's Manifesto. Terry he started doing it. Really started counting the numbers. Plus. Start a bigger noise. What did these rebellious pirates hear? Someone said that they would slaughter all their hundreds of thousands of people in 10 seconds. Did they really think they are ants? Or ignore them at all? The pirates, who were very angry, began to charge up to the heights where St. Terry was, regardless of any casualties. No matter how hard Marine slams. They must also let the arrogant celestial dragons be completely pulled from the arrogant position in the sky. This is their pirate freedom. One step, two steps. Ten steps. Hundred steps. The group of pirates is like a chicken blood. Shake the marines. Can't resist. Nine. Eight. Suddenly. The great pirate Charlotte Linlin stopped fighting with the maid's address. Roaring dumbly in the air. Terry. She lost her mind. Her Terry. Her Terry. She wanted to kill those indifferent pirates just like that. Don't answer her directly. Look straight at her. And she wanted to get closer to Terry to question Terry's mind. The response he got was the encirclement and suppression of his maid. Pain. The pain that feels like the heart is about to be torn apart. Let Charlotte Linlin roar. Ah. Her mind started to spin out of control. That roar. 470 made the fearless pirates and marines collapse to the ground without any difference. Had to cover ears. Dong dong dong. One body after another fell. That roar is not at all a power that ordinary people can resist. This guy Linlin. He's starting to lose his mind. Now is the time to charge. There's less defense in Marine 2. Shocked by Charlotte Linlin's roar. Most of the action stopped. The pirates did not give up. They want to take down St. Terry who is still counting numbers. Artillery attack. 7. 6. 5. Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr and the three elite pirates on the rocks ship were still facing off. Don't stop me. Don't think about it. This is the naval headquarters. The place of justice. How can you be so messed up? The top fighting forces of fist to flesh. Not much affected by the roar of the great pirate Charlotte Linlin. The artillery fire has arrived. Equip the armed color emission. Attack. Charge. Roaring row after row of artillery fire brought many pirates senior armament hockey, emission. Quickly flew to where St. Terry was. The pirates thought they could make that St. Terry lose his cool. Lose his arrogance. Can result. But it is. Boom. A sound. His last red-haired maid moved. The two black cats of huge phantom beasts, turned into a guardian posture, swallowing all the shells. You can't stop what your highness wants to do. You demons. Why is his maid still able to eat the phantom beasts that are rarer than Logia? Bring the sea stone shells here. Quick. There is not much time left. With the figures of the St. Terry Manifesto. Getting faster and faster. Getting shorter. This naval headquarters is still very noisy. With the roar of the great pirate Charlotte Linlin. It has become the most noisy gathering place in the world. Ten seconds is up. It seems that the pirates did not give me face, nor did they buy it. So, I'm announcing now that it's time for you to stop. Start with the largest decibels there first. Everyone's eyes turned to St. Terry. It should be said that the eyes of the world could not help but focus on St. Terry. Want to see what he's going to do with Charlotte Linlin, who's screaming out there. Is it using swordsmanship, or hockey, or is it the fruit ability that he has hidden until now? For a time. In St. Terry's final sentence of execution. Except for naval headquarters, the rest of the world fell silent. I saw a very bright blue ghost flash. On the index finger of St. Terry's raised right hand, a bright luster that dimmed the sky. It only took about half a second to condense. In an instant, it was like a huge flash impact ten people wide. Devoured all the light around him. Towards Charlotte Linlin who is roaring there. The roar dissipated in a howl of pain. Sizzle. The sound of the collapse of the body being dissolved by force. Begin to spread to every corner of the world. Half a minute passed. That blue ghostly flash that devoured the luster of the sky. Finally, a huge space-time void was twisted in the sky and dissipated. But after the flash dissipated, people found out. Not only does the sky appear empty. The luster of the world is melted away. Also dissipated along with. The head of the legendary New World pirate Charlotte Linlin.
The original roaring and roaring throat disappeared together with her head. All that was left was the blackened neck and the intact body that had not been impacted by the blue ghost flash. Thump. A sound. The great pirate Charlotte Linlin's body. Lost support. Without the power of Marine Six styles. Fall into the sea accordingly. There was quite a bit of a wave. But with the sound of the waves. The last restless naval headquarters in the world. Also ushered in silence. The pirates stopped all the movements in their hands for a while. They were so shocked that they dared not move at all. They want to live. Want to escape. Even the ant, who has the most powerful monster physique in the world, lost the terrifying flash of his head in an instant. They are certainly not immune from it. Dressrosa. Da Flamingo stared blankly at the situation. He just inquired about the details of the kingdom of Dressrosa. Completely lost good temper. How is that possible? That Charlotte Linlin with a monster physique. Innate power has the physique of a steel balloon. Even using armament hockey can't hurt her at all. Backquote actually, unexpectedly lost his head in an instant. How is this possible? Sabayati Archipelago. Shaki thankfully sighed at Rayleigh. Fortunately I stopped you just now. Otherwise you'd be hit by that beam too. Rayleigh, an old man, begins to be in heat without shame. Ha ha ha. Shaki you are my lucky star. Deep under the sea not far from naval headquarters. Kaido was silent. Jin. Boss Kaido, do we still have to go? Kaido nodded. No matter what, I owe Linlin a favor. I have to pay it back. Adopt all her sons and daughters. As for the monsters out there, celestial dragons, now is not the time to provoke them. A gleam appeared in Kaido's eyes. Jiao's, if he can control Wanokuni. Get the secret treasure. It may also be possible to compare with this Saint Terry. But before that, he Kaido is just a comparison, it's just rubbish. Still don't die. The death of Charlotte Linlin, the great pirate. Just the beginning. Creek. A. Dark sky rushes. Instantly filled with blue ghostly flashes that fill the sky. Devoured the remaining light. One flash after another, transformed into the posture of a pack of wolves. Howling condescendingly above the sky. The wolf's vicious eyes stared at every pirate below who had made a noise before. Infinite loading, Wang Shu's flash. Blade of wolves. Dong dong dong. Like pure rain falling from the sky. It really cleans up the filth of the world. After the wolves howled. Going straight to the ground and the sea, turning into beams of light. Devoured everything. Strong light shines. Let the picture from the live video phone bug all over the world turn into a blue and white aurora. Only the wailing can be heard. It is like hell, suffering from torment. Nearly three minutes of cleaning. Nearly three minutes of cleaning have been seen all over the world. Then, the rebroadcast image. Let everyone restore the softness of the eyeballs. Once again adapting to the bright light and seeing the picture. It was an indescribable fear. Hundreds of thousands of pirates all fell down. The heart and the head were all penetrated and wiped out. Whether it's John, Akoku, or Silver Axe, who were overwhelmed by Marine's top combat power. Or those little pirates who attacked Saint Terry himself before. All were pierced through the head and heart. Can't die at all. Only a few dozen big cats and kittens remained. On the pirate ship in the distance. Don't move like a clown. Hundreds of thousands of pirates. Every pirate who can cause a lot of trouble in any country. Hundreds of thousands, all of them are gone. The hundred or so pirates. Are they all gone? Is this really something that humans can do? Didn't you find it? Under the impact of the beams transformed by the wolf pack, the sea in front of naval headquarters has already dissipated and most of it has evaporated. The land of 477 is directly present. Is this the power of God? God. Mighty. Naval headquarters. The hearts of all marines were beating wildly with joy. Even a ferocious man with facial paralysis like Sakazuki. Seeing the situation where hundreds of pirate groups in this new world were completely wiped out. He could not help but exaggeratedly raise the corners of his mouth. Ha 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 laughed. Sakazuki, I didn't expect you to have such an expression. It's rare. Kuzan, instead of laughing at me, you should freeze the escape routes of the remaining dozens of pirates. Those in the new world are also monster level existences, and they should not be allowed to escape. Sakazuki the relationship with Kuzan is not bad. Although the two factions are different. One is a young representative of the Hawks. 
One is a young representative of the dove. But the strong cherish the strong. Hero cherish hero. Under the sympathy of each other. On the contrary, their relationship is even better than that of ordinary members of the same faction. However, this is also related to the fact that they do not have the full power of the master faction. Now, let's continue to see what that highness is going to do. Don't embarrass Kuzan, Sakazuki, everyone is tired too. Those dozens, even if they escape, they won't be able to cause any trouble, right? The pirates were completely wiped out. Porosalino turned his head and turned his eyes to St. Terry on the high platform. Indicate that there is the center of gravity in the center of gravity. Only then did Sakazuki stop embarrassing Kuzan. Sakazuki, who was just embarrassing Kuzan, didn't stop the smile on his face. Hi Kafi, Sakazuki is really stupid and keeps smirking. Pelusolino, what do you think the future Marine Admiral is an idiot? Quote dot dot dot. Even if you're an idiot, isn't it under the command of His Royal Highness St. Terry? It's not bad to be an idiot, isn't it? Pelusolino also has a good temperament. Began to joke about Sakazuki with Kuzan. Sakazuki's body burst into flames. You too. Yo yo yo, Sakazuki is angry, do you want me to help you blow it coldly, Papa Kuzan is worried that you are too angry. Kuzan funny. This he learned from Garp Vice Admiral. Adjust the atmosphere. A joke that fosters relationships between colleagues. Since everything is under the leadership of His Royal Highness St. Terry. So what's the difference between future hawks, doves, and a separate faction of Pelusolino's world government? It is possible to achieve a grand unification. It's better for me to take the initiative. Anyway, Sakazuki is a paralyzed face. Kuzan, Sakazuki's eyes narrowed in anger. Sometimes no joke. Instead, they can't get closer. Long live His Royal Highness St. Terry. Her Royal Highness St. Terry Mighty. His Royal Highness St. Terry, long live. The cries of naval headquarters are endless. One wave more than one wave. Even Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr. They were all stunned by such a tragic sight of pirates. Dropped John, Akoku, Silver Axe who were completely dead. The three old comrades in arms looked at each other, and it was difficult to express their feelings at present. They find that no matter how powerful they are. Also to no avail. Likewise, no matter how much they looked at St. Terry's ability. Still underestimated. The St. Terry on the high platform. It is no longer human power. That is the power of God. Compared with Garp, Zephyr is not familiar with. Sengoku often contacts Marine Marshal Kong here. On the contrary, he is very mentally prepared for St. Terry's ability. He was starting to get excited. Single quote dot dot dot. Garp. That's all. His Royal Highness St. Terry can handle everything. So does that Rouge. Don't think he can't count. Garp. Garp currently has this. Sengoku could only say it forcefully, and responded with a nod. Say what? What else can I say? Nothing can express the shock of Garp's heart. Why don't you just cover it up? Garp couldn't help but look at St. Terry on the high platform. The existence of this. How terrifying is that? For the first time, Garp felt old and tired. Mingming is only 54 years old. But it doesn't work a bit. With the power of that celestial dragons. What on earth does Garp insist on? Old, old. Just wait for retirement. Unlimited reloading Wang Shu's flash, Blade of Wolves. Is from the unsealed Hogyoku. Combined with the basics that St. Terry seeks to play, the ability to help St. Terry develop. Very simple. The reason why St. Terry wanted this ability. It is because I feel that it cannot be accurate in large-scale battles. Find the enemy personnel and successfully smash the opponent's vitals. Same. More importantly. He hopes to have a very domineering power. Attack enemies with self-tracking. If possible. Just like the self-tracking turtle Qigong wave in the world of Dragon Ball. Infinitely split Qi, directly chasing the opponent's Qi until the opponent is eliminated. It's a pity that the cultivation of Qi is directly linked to combat power. To achieve this infinite pursuit of Qi, the combat power must at least reach the level of Starburst. Saint Terry knows that he can't burst Star. The Qi of this Qigong wave with infinite weight is still a long way off. We can only wait for the strengthening of the, lying flat system, again and again. So, he added this demand to the unsealed Hogyoku. 
The Hogyoku, bound to him, answered him. Let him successfully acquire this power. Squeeze Reiatsu and Reiatsu from the earth, combine their own strength and ideas. Shake the blue ghost Saro that pinches out a pack of wolves. After cleaning up the noisy garbage on the surface, it's time to clean up the garbage in the seabed. Saint Terry did not stop. On the index finger of his right hand, the power that made everyone feel terrifying and unforgettable once again, the sparkle of the blue ghost. Wang Shu's flash. Quote dot dot dot. Huh. Why is His Royal Highness Saint Terry still releasing? Wait a minute he's aiming for, a dry sea. Quote dot dot dot. There. Wait. Why is there a pirate ship there? It's. Kaido. Beasts pirates. Kaido. Is that big pirate here too? Naval headquarters and the world follow the direction of Saint Terry. The flag of Kaido's Beasts Pirates has been discovered. Shocked by this. Feeling ridiculous about Beasts Pirates again. Could it be that? In all previous cases, is there that big pirate under naval headquarters? But what if Kaido, the big pirate, is in person? Aren't all the big pirates dead? Naval headquarters. And so many people around the world now want to see Kaido of the Beasts. Did you say Kaido was on the Beast Pirate ship? Perhaps. But it looks like a coward. Ha 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 ha. Look at the monster known as the strongest creature in the world, what does it look like now? He doesn't even dare to show his face. Can the strongest creature in the world be compared to God? Saint Terry is a god. What kind of junk is Kaido? Guess how many attacks their ship can hold against Saint Terry? I think it's just a moment, it should be a few seconds. You look down on Saint Terry too much. How much strength does it take to deal with Kaido? Just feel funny. Just a big pirate Kaido. What do you want to do now? To die. Then what? This is really funny. Laughable. Kaido is feeling helpless now. How to do? Escape. How to escape? So many big pirates were cleaned up in three minutes. Kaido thought that it could last at least half an hour. Let him bring the cadres of the Charlotte Linlin family back to Wanokuni to train them. But what about the result? There is a mallet. All that's left is the ship where Katakori is. There are no officers. All that's left is Charlotte Linlin's sons and daughters. It is estimated that they were lucky to survive because they couldn't stand their mother's roar and had to keep their mouths shut. After all, the eldest son and the second son are in their twenties. What can they do? Can't do anything. So stupid. Kaido's target person, the cadres of Charlotte Linlin's family do not count. The point is that Kaido wasted three minutes of this life and death escape. He couldn't escape. Completely targeted by that celestial dragon's kid. The beam that washes and dries the sea is aimed. What is he running away from? No matter how fast the pirate ship runs, how fast is the light? Did he Kaido really want to be a joke? Fart. He is greedy. Accidentally greedy when you should not be greedy. So that's how it becomes. But he Kaido has become a pirate. Shouldn't it be greedy? Kaido's face was gloomy. His subordinate three calamities also swallowed at this moment. Boss Kaido, we should. Go out and surrender. Let's just say that we came here not to participate in the war, but as Wanokuni's famous generals, to let Wanokuni start the country and join the world government. As a congratulations to Saint Terry for his successful development of immortality technology. Kaido turned his cerebellum in an instant. People have two mouths, and they can say anything right or wrong. He didn't attack anyway. Without showing any gestures. The warriors under his command were not brought. Only the three plagues and himself. It looks decent too. Now only a dead horse can be used as a living horse doctor. Anyway. Kaido used to be a little brother on the rock's ship. Never mind. Got used to. Don't forget the taste and feeling of being a younger brother just because you have been the boss. Kaido keep this in mind. Be cowardly from the heart. Jin, you open the door first. Fortunately there are some famous knives on this ship, we will trade them out. Quote dot dot dot. Okay, boss Kaido. Kaido even thought about it. Hand over the remaining two disobedient three plagues, Quinn and Jack. Of course, St. Terry has long discovered that there are some jumping clowns on the bottom of the sea who want to pick up persimmons. It's just that they didn't press them to death the first time. Now it's time to clear up. It's much safer to boost morale for yourself here. 
After all, it is Kaido, and the strength recovery ability of the body can be said to be the strongest among pirates, so many condensed Wang Shu's flashes for a few seconds, and strive to completely obliterate him with one blow. Saint Terry doesn't like water. Strive to kill the enemy with one hit. Unexpectedly. In the few seconds he spent so much time condensing. Then Kaido suddenly used all his strength. Copied Seastone myself. So I stood on the boat and climbed out. In public live broadcasts around the world. Shouted loudly. His Royal Highness Saint Terry, I, Kaido, as the great name of Wanokuni, come to congratulate His Highness Saint Terry on the success of his research on immortality. And to express my intentions, I hope Wanokuni will open up the country and join the jurisdiction of the world government from now on. You see that I don't have any malice here, I just congratulate with my three subordinates as representatives, without bringing any personnel. Look, my subordinates and I have already been handcuffed to sea stones. Here are also hundreds of sharp knives sent by Wanokuni. It's enough to show our sincerity and purpose. I also ask His Royal Highness Saint Terry to learn from me. We are not enemies. Kaido his smooth surrender. Let Saint Terry have fun here. This guy is really interesting. Interesting. The whole world sees his cowardly appearance. I see what prestige you have after Kaido. I originally thought of killing it directly, and then I went to Wanokuni for a walk without doing official business, to get a little treasure, especially the ability to fish for the, fruit of time, Kazuki Shi, Mrs. Shi. Looks like, Kaido can still use it. Kaido wants to make Wanokuni join the world government, he will inevitably continue to conflict with Odin, then when Odin dies, his wife Kazuki will be able to get it rightfully. The ability of the fruit of time is too tyrannical. Have to guard against it. Saint Terry figured out the key point instantly. The flash of Wang Shu's fingertips dissipated into the air. Become nothingness. He opened his mouth. If that's the case, then come up. Mr. Sengoku, please, Mr. Garp and Mr. Zephyr, take care of Mr. Kaido and his three subordinates. After all, Mr. Kaido is the future member of the world government, His Royal Highness the King of Wanokuni. Mr. Sengoku, Mr. Garp, and Mr. Zephyr are qualified to take care of them. Saint Terry emphasized the word, care. Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr understand. He giggled and walked towards Kaido there. And at this moment. The whole world is happy. This god name is Kaido. Kaido of the beasts. You can just call it a coward. Look at his flattering appearance. Simply. Ha ha ha. Isn't that the power of his royal highness Saint Terry? Let the big pirate be as obedient as a good grandson while talking and laughing. Kaido is a fart. Pirates are a fart. From now on, I think marines is more awesome. Of. Kaido was led by Garp and Sengoku to the, prime seat, at naval headquarters. Long time no see. Kaido. I didn't expect the kid trainee on the rocks ship to be so strong now. Garp facing Kaido's exaggerated huge body. A little bit of emotion. No, Garp Vice Admiral, you're just growing old. It's the same as you were back then. Humph. I hope you, Kaido, are more aware of the current affairs and don't make any trouble. Otherwise, you will understand the corpse of the pirate all over the ground. Sengoku snorted coldly, compared to Garp who can play Maha. Sengoku wouldn't trust Kaido as a pirate. Had it not been for Kaido's public commitment at naval headquarters and his allegiance to the world government. The impact of this event is too great. Sengoku may directly advise the Saint Terry at the top and destroy Kaido. Quote dot dot dot. How could I possibly have any idea? Sengoku Admiral. Ha ha ha. As an intern on the rocks ship. I have been able to survive until now, and, 480, is really lucky. I just went to Wanokuni and got it some secret. Isn't this the fact that the world government has been trying to make Wanokuni start a country but it has always failed? This time, seeing His Royal Highness Saint Terry reveal the technology of immortality, I represent Wanokuni to start the country. His Highness Saint Terry of the province is wasting time to go to Wanokuni. Kaido also came here as a younger brother. Passed on the rock's ship. Feeling less angry as an intern. That's too much to explode. Top strong. He Kaido was just a younger brother at the time. Now my life is in the hands of others. To regain a more honest attitude. What happened again? He Kaido can bear it. Quote dot dot dot. Your mouth has never been so articulate before. Kaido. I remember you used to speak harshly, one by one. 
Garp began to taunt Kaido's changeableness for the first time. Isn't this seeing how powerful His Royal Highness St. Terry is? Then I am convinced that Kaido is first class. On the rock's ship, the previous rocks were not as good as His Highness St. Terry's eleven. Kaido grinned and laughed. He didn't lose his subordinates. Just to lose face. So what's up? He has a knack for pretending to be weak. Quote dot dot dot. Garp Vice Admiral, Sengoku Admiral, don't make fun of me. Hurry up, as representatives of Wano Kuni, we are going to be the first audience to observe the majesty of His Royal Highness St. Terry. Humph. I hope you say the same thing as you do. Vice Admiral, Chief of Staff of Naval Headquarters, also came to Kaido's side and snorted coldly. Made Kaido's scalp tingle. Was it necessary for so many marine monsters to look at him? He is alone. Is it worth it? Don't you already have St. Terry on top of your head? He no longer dared to raise his rebellious thoughts. Now to surround him with so many elites. Are you really afraid that he will escape? But he has sea stones on his arms. The purest kind. Is this not enough? What is this called? If you can't beat the sparrows, you will be pecked by the sparrows. Quote dot dot dot. Crane Vice Admiral, I Kaido have always been straight talking and doing what they say. Say this word. Kaido doesn't believe it himself. But when you see people talking. Hell talk shit. Form is stronger than man. What can be done? Hey hey hey. Where's Kaido? How did he become such a coward? Didn't you see that His Royal Highness St. Terry just stretched out his index finger on his right hand and destroyed hundreds of thousands of pirates? If I were Kaido, I'd be scared too. Ha 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 ha. I see that Kaido clearly wanted to snatch the skills of His Highness St. Terry, but he found out that the situation was not right, and he was so frightened that he started Wanokuni's country. Isn't Wanokuni rich in famous knives and beautiful women? I heard it's very close there. Has the prestige of His Royal Highness St. Terry been admired by all nations? It's me, and I worship too. Marines personnel were talking about. Morale was so high that it was almost exaggerated. That said, let Kaido's forehead burst with blue veins. But he still had to laugh. Anyway, Kaido won't show any more emotions. As for Marine's ridicule, or the thoughts around the world now, he Kaido just has to be ignored. Save your life. Not shabby. Try changing any pirate in the world. Whoever is looked after by Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr. On the top of his head there is Kong always ready. Everyone will be like him. He alone cannot fight against Ka Sengoku in his prime. Even if you get the green dragon fruit of the phantom beast species. He still couldn't say what he could do. The rocks pirate, defeated by Garp and Roger. He Kaido is an intern on the ship. The ferocity of Garp is still vivid in my mind. He Kaido sucks. Garp is indeed immune to death who ate the Udemons. But it was so painful that his whole body went numb. Not to mention at the highest point of the high platform. The Saint Terry who always smiled at him. Ha ha. Kaido's intestines are all regretful. Point zero. Go ahead and bite the bullet. I hope Saint Terry can be in a better mood later. Put him back. If not, Kaido feels helpless just thinking about it. The master of life and death is in the hands of others. There is no way. Kaido really didn't want to be a headless corpse like Charlotte Linlin. Finally Kaido was seated. Right in the middle surrounded by Garp, Sengoku, Zephyr, Kong, the CPO's most wanted deputy agent, and the four St. Terry maids. Let him sit on pins and needles. One with a punch from senior armament hockey. Enough for him to drink a pot. Not to mention that Garp's fierce armament hockey's fist is much harder than everyone else's. And a slam with Sengoku's conqueror's twist. Quinn, Jin, Jack. Not much better. Sakazuki, Kuzan, Pulsolino, and Gion were surrounded by four Logia fruit powers, and Suru Vice Admiral was in the middle of the three of them, watching at all times. It seems that if Kaido's three disasters act rashly, the Crane Vice Admiral will use the washing fruit to wash away the stamina, hockey and evil thoughts. Maid. Lousy is really planted. Big hair. Gone. Kaido just thought so. The five elders also stood up and sat towards the St. Terry group. Like the stars over the moon. That puts St. Terry right in the middle. St. Terry again in front of the whole world. Announced. Sorry, everyone from all over the world. Due to the influence of the noisy pirates, our public demonstration of this technology was delayed a little by 5.8 minutes. 
It also hurt our soldiers at naval headquarters. As an apology, I, Rosewall St. Terry, hereby announce that I will first use this immortal technology and power to first compensate the soldiers who were injured and died in this chaos. Let them escape from the Yellow Spring and open their eyes again in this world to recover. St. Terry's remark came out. Marine, the world boils again. What? What's the situation? Doesn't it cost a lot to resurrect the dead? Reviving Marine soldiers so easily? Question mark question mark question mark. Are the hundreds of thousands of pirates invited actors? Impossible. That means. That man. The man standing on the high platform of naval headquarters. He has completely mastered the power of the gods. Can control life and death. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support our channel.